about you His love is so true God is over the moon God is over the moon He's crazy about you His love is so true
It's a happy Sunday again. How was the praise time? All right, let's um, start with the passage together. What is the first thing you guys want to do when it's COVID-19 is over? It's going to be party time. Everybody's waiting for that time. Maybe a lot of people, they want to travel to another country or a lot of people, they want to get together with their friends and eating inside the restaurants without mask. Everybody's waiting for that. Jesus was waiting for something too. After he rose again, Jesus really wanted to do something. That was, he missed his friends so much so Jesus went to see his disciples. Let's open our Bible and read today's passage together. It's John chapter 20. Jade is going to read the passage for us. So let's go read it together. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands. 
Reach out your hand and put it into my sight. Stop doubting and believe. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. John chapter 20, verse 24 through 29. So you guys remember I told you about Thomas last Sunday, last week. Do you guys remember how many disciples Jesus had? Thomas was one of the 12 disciples. After Jesus died and rose again, he went to see his disciples. He wanted to tell them that he was alive. But as you guys know, Thomas wasn't there, so he doubted about Jesus' story. Other disciples, they told him, It was amazing. Jesus is alive. Thomas, where were you? Jesus was back here. He was here. Where were you? But you know what he said? He said that I can't believe you guys. I won't believe it unless I see the nail on his head and unless I put my finger on his body, I cannot believe it. One of the 12 disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus came. Hey, hey Thomas! Later, the disciples told Thomas, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands, put my fingers into them, and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Oh, hey guys. Peace be with you, he said. Then Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. Thomas said, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. We haven't seen Jesus. We haven't seen him in physically. Did you see Jesus? <laughs> but we believe Jesus is alive. Let me ask you guys, boys and girls, do you believe Jesus? Do you believe Jesus is alive? Can you believe that Jesus is still alive today as well? How can you believe that? If you're saying, hmm, I don't know, I don't think I can really believe it. Boys and girls, Jesus isn't going to walk into our house today and let you touch his hands and his body and ask, do you believe it now? We have a Bible, you guys. Even though we've never seen him, but we believe from the Bible. It's telling us, the Bible is telling us that Jesus died on the cross for us and he rose again. He's alive today too. And we call this faith. Do you remember the movie Aladdin? A whole new world. <laughs> you guys remember the movie, the Aladdin movie. It's Aladdin. He just met Jasmine and they didn't spend that much time together. One day, Aladdin, he asked Jasmine, How are you doing that? It's a magic carpet. It's lovely. You, uh, you don't want to go for a ride, do you? Is it safe? Sure, do you trust me? What? Do you trust me? A lot in ask her, do you trust me? And you know what she said, right? Uh, what if she said no? 
then their relationship is over because Jasmine, she can't trust Aladdin. But she said, yes, I trust you. Jasmine, she trusted Aladdin. So she said, I trust you. Believing something without seeing, it can be a little difficult. But we believe in Jesus by faith. We haven't seen him, we haven't seen Jesus, but we trust that he is who he said he is. Faith is a gift from God. We can pray and ask for faith. Every Sunday, I know you guys have to decide whether you're going to just stay on the bed or get up and, and ready for the worship. I want you to come before God and ask God for faith. I want you to get up and worship God every Sunday and keep your faith. I want you to open your Bible and read it. And I want you to keep writing your Lent scripture writing book and keep your faith. And Jesus is waiting for you. Let's pray together. Dear God, dear our Father, Thank you for saving us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for sending your only begotten son, Jesus, for us. And thank you for your gift, the faith, Lord God. We know that you're waiting for us all the time, Lord God. We know that you're waiting for us to come before you, to worship you, to praise your name, and to to pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God. So Lord, um, help us to be with you all the time. Even though we cannot see, even though we haven't seen Jesus in physically, we believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again. Help us to keep this faith and help us to follow you all the time, Lord God. Help us to love you more and more. And I pray in the name of Jesus, amen. Good job, you guys. I love you and I can't wait to see you at church. I really miss you so much. Hope you guys have a good time at your small group via Zoom. Bye. God loves you. Remember that. And I love you too.